All right, so this is going to be a walkthrough on how we go about taking a extruded body and then making it flatten to be able to laser cut and then add kerfing to it. So at the moment, I'm just going to quickly create my curve. So I'm just going to extrude. So Shift E to extrude this body out. I'm going to start by building that out and then add my little tab so we can keep it as realistic to what you need to do as our task is going to be. So now I've got my body. They are, there's my body there at the moment. And I'm just going to mirror that to the other side. And change that to being the mirror plane. that one there and then there's my body so at the moment he's looking good that's what I need to be able to create for the curve of my speaker uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert that body now into a sheet metal so the easiest way I find this is up here in the sheet metal model I'm going to select him and instead of going convert because then I need to ex remove any of the other faces is I'm going to go thicken so this basically allows me to select a face so I'm going to go those faces there and what you've probably noticed here is I've got this opened already so this guy down here is super super useful when using sheet metal because then it shows the flattened view now we see at the moment that's going to be too big for what we need. So I'm going to actually flip that thickness. So the thickness is three millimeters. That's perfect for my MDF. And then that's basically sitting over exactly where the body I just created is. So I'm going to go tick on that and I'm going to actually hide that other body. So that part 44 was the first one I extruded as a standard part. This one here is my sheet metal, so I'm going to rename that. That's going to be my top face sheet metal. Okay, so he's now there ready to go. So the super nice thing about now working with this is I've got this face over here to be able to sketch on. So I'm now going to go and I'm going to include a sketch. I'm going to actually draw on that face now. So what I'm going to do is because what we're going to be doing is curving, I'm going to then add my lines. Now I'm not going to go through and do all of this for you, but I'm just going to add some really quick lines. Now this is obviously not how it needs to be, but I just want to show you that we can then finish that sketch. So you can see that's my, and I'm going to rename that, and I'm going to call that my curving sketch. So I've got that ready to go. When I come over to my drawing, I'm going to, I've already opened one up. I'm going to remove those two out. I don't need these at the moment. And so I'm going to go add in a new view, and I'm going to select that part. So. I, if I go through and search my parts here, I can see that top face sheet metal. Now that's obviously unhelped for my curfing. So what I actually need to go back into that view and find, so I go back in, insert, insert again, and the options I have, so within the part studios, we've got this flat surfaces. So I select that, turn off parts, and then we see that flat pattern of that piece. So I'm going to drop him in there. Now if I need to rotate that piece, I'm going to hit escape so I don't keep projecting views. But if I need to rotate that, I can do that by double clicking on it and bringing up the properties and I can rotate him nice and easily. But you can see I don't see that sketch yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on him, the show or hide, and I'm going to then go show or hide sketches. 
So then from here, I can choose the sketch that I want from that uh, part studio. So the curving one is the one I want. I'm gonna go tick. And then there's the curving that I had added on. So now that part there, minus that, is ready to be able to be laser cut out, assuming it's at that one-to-one. -one. So if I was actually going to be making this a DXF, I'm gonna remove all of that other detail. I'm gonna make sure that the sheet itself is one-to-one, -one, not one-to-three, so that everything is scaled appropriately. Now, it doesn't matter that it's off that page. If you really wanted to, you could create a, a zero page, so it's super, super large, but not a, not a crucial element of that. It's just gonna go off the page, and then when I go to uh, send it off, it won't even recognize the page, but if you'd like, you can do that like that. So now that is the process of being able to go through and develop my curved piece, make it a flattened steel piece, and then add sketches to that flat.